So, hello everyone. My name is Melchior Langeveld. I'm a business developer at Semfall. Semfall is a, a software company that connects various energy resources uh, to uh, control parts of the production or consumption and do trades on wholesale energy markets and provide balancing power to transmission system operators. As you can see on the slide here, our production capacity is changing. Um, this coal-fired power plant in France, Charleroi, has shut down, and we're increasingly going to change um, our production capacity with renewables. And these renewables, while whilst contributing to our climate change targets, are also very volatile, meaning that we are going to increasingly have a demand for balancing power. In the Netherlands, currently we need about 1,500 gigawatt hours per year in order to balance the grid. And if we're going to shift to renewables, we're going to roughly triple this market. On the other hand, you see uh, changes going on at the demand side. We see electrification of, uh, electric, uh, of, uh, of uh, transportation and heating needs. Uh, and the good thing here is that they're often connected to uh, the internet, meaning that we can gather data and also start controlling parts of that uh, capacity in, to, in order to deliver this balancing capacity. Um, and we at Semfar are developing the software that is able to do just that. Semfar has started focusing on um, batteries um, because they are stable, accurate, and very responsive, which means they are very um, equipped to respond to very quick uh, deviations between supply and demand. But we're also looking at less obvious places for flexibility, such as in cold stores and water pumps. Now, these processes, they have uh, a natural buffer within them, meaning that you have some freedom in deciding when you cool your cold store or when you pump water out of your system. Uh, we're also looking at charge points. Uh, charge points, on average, a charging session takes six hours, um, but you're only charging two and a half hour of, hours of these, so that means that you have flexibility there as well. Um, there are more sources of flexibility. Actually, flexibility is everywhere, but our software connects them all together, does forecasting based on the data of, uh, we get from these assets, and then develops a schedule. And this schedule could look something like this. Um, the key takeaway from the slide here um, is that we uh, are active on multiple markets, meaning that if market conditions change in, for example, day-ahead markets, we can shift our uh, schedule towards imbalance markets, spreading our financial risk, uh, as to say. Um, our product has three modules. Uh, the first module is focused on automatic purchasing. So here we forecast the demand or the production and then automatically buy that on wholesale markets without... Um, uh, a margin, um, then we also can add a partial control to that, so we can actually start delivering this balancing capacity. Um, and our last um, module gives you insight through our dashboards. We've start, actually started seeing that uh, the information we gather is actually so valuable to our customers uh, that we can do some predictive maintenance there as well for some customers. Our business model is simple. We uh, go to our customer and then try to um, uh, calculate how much flexibility is available there. And then we, uh, can, um, you can, uh, we have a, a, an amount of money, a subscription fee for each module, uh, based on the size and the amount of flexibility that's available at the asset. Um, we're currently online with 41 batteries, 29 cold stores, and two heat, uh, water pumps, and we are going to be adding turbines later this year, as well as charging stations. Um, we have ambitions to go into Europe uh, the, the year after, uh, and that's uh, what, why we need uh, a network towards markets like Germany, Denmark, and Belgium. Um, but we're also looking to connect with original equipment manufacturers in order to ensure that our software can actually talk to all these assets. And for realizing these steps, we need investments. So um, that's why we're here. Uh, I hope I gave you a good uh, introduction to what we at Semfall do, and I'll be here uh, to uh, address questions if needed. So that was my pitch. Can you tell us how much money you are looking for, Melchior, or um, is it a secret? Um, no, um, we uh, just recently uh, did some, uh, raised some, uh, some money, uh, 1.1 million. And we're now uh, looking to uh, go further, around two, two to three million uh, euros to grow our uh, Two to three million. Go and get it, okay? Thank, Thank you, you very much.